that was just a thing in between to um well there was a plan to release to make another single cut from the land of the free album so um we said just instead of just releasing a normal single we want to do something special and though we had um miracle and uh, a wild and dreamland left over from the last production and uh we anyways we wanted to put them down someday and uh we had the idea since quite a while now to make a new version of the silence some version where people can get used to my voice singing the song and then like you know joining in live um we said all right we do a ballad ep you know which contains the more well the ballad types of gamma ray which are not like scorpions ballads or radio airplay ballads mm. but they're like no uh no speed songs that's for sure right uh, you mentioned that your fans had to, to get used to you by behind the microphone again uh, what happened to, to your last uh, vocalists um yeah well he he wanted to maybe get a chance to join in through this priest and uh, at that point when we started writing songs for land of the free it was a very hard situation because um I mean, he was not living in Hamburg, and he lived 700 kilometers away from here. And so we always waited for him since two years. We've been talking about that he has to move to Hamburg someday, you know, to get close to the band and be there always, you know, so we can work constantly. So and it always happened like that, that I wrote most of the melody lines, and he had to sing them in the end, you know, because so quickly he couldn't come up with something better or on his own. And uh, that was not a good situation, so we said, for Land of the Free, we want him to be here, you know. And um, he couldn't really make the move. And then uh, he had this thing going on that he had written to Judas Priest for, you know, getting a rehearsal. Not that he was not behind Gamma Ray. I mean, he was behind the band. But um, we said he has to be 100%, you know. Mm, not, uh, so um, at the moment, he's... Uh, well, since he's not getting to be the new singer for Judas Priest, he hasn't got a band at the moment, but he uh, wants to do something anyways. So um, we are on the phone from time to time, and actually Gamma Ray and Ralph are going to record something together uh, for the tribute to Judas Priest album. Yeah, right. Uh, for, the, for part two. For part one, we have recorded Victim of Changes, mm -hmm. and for part two, Ralph should, should have uh, done a song and uh, he's going to do it with us, with us together. We're going to play Exciter. It's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will you try to find a new vocalist in the future, or will you continue to, to, to sing yourself? Um, first, I say I continue, but uh, if there's somebody coming up who is the right guy with the right character, the right voice, I mean, the voice, you know, and a uh, very, very, very good personality, that's that's one thing I think is the strongest thing for a singer personality. Um, it might happen that someday maybe a singer will be in front of Gamma Ray. Right. Uh, on this new live album, you you got a couple of uh, Halloween songs. Uh, I guess that's uh, just a public demand. Uh, is it hard to choose from uh, the great repertoire from uh, Halloween? Uh, just a couple of songs, or are well, these your? If you your... want to start choosing, then for sure it's hard. But for me, it was easy. I mean, first choice is for me the songs I have written, because I mean that makes sense. If I would play songs the others have written, then it wouldn't make sense. So it's the songs I have written. Uh, the others in the band have to like the song. Mm -hmm. That's another reason. And um, for sure, with Ride the Sky and Future World, we have two classics of two very strong Halloween albums. You know, it's like the songs maybe of the albums, Future World and Ride the Sky from Walls of Jericho. Okay. Uh, will you be, be touring to, to promote this uh, live album or will you start uh, working on your new studio album right away? Well, the live album came now short before the tour. We will go on a little more touring in uh, September or in autumn in general. Um, so, but we don't have uh, so many fixed date, dates yet, so everything is on the make. And uh, well, we're trying to go everywhere we can. Uh, as you, you mentioned, uh, you're doing another track here from uh, the tribute to Duos Priest album part two. Mm. Uh, how did you get involved with that uh, that project? Oh, we got a call from uh, from a German journalist from Rock Heart magazine, which together with Central Media present this album, and uh, he asked if he would like to do a song. 
and he recommended actually he recommended a uh, victim of changes because he said uh, this would fit very well to us so he was right mm -hmm. this uh, second song excited did you choose that one yourself or? yeah Ralph wanted to do desert plains first but um, we talked about it again and said well let's do a fast song let's do something you know really kick in mm. I think exciter is one of the priest classics i mean one of the priest classics yeah and uh i think it's a good song for gamma ray and ralph together mm, i'm excited to hear it yeah. uh, the rumors say that uh, you've been working with uh, michael kiske again um we have been working together yeah. yeah i mean he did some work for land of the free and uh i've worked on his studio album which will be coming out in september if i'm not wrong and uh, uh the album is finished now and i've worked i've co-written one song with michael and adrian smith uh former iron maiden mm -hmm. and uh so we've played some guitar on the album and it was good fun what does it sound like the album uh it's a big variety between uh well it's hard to say you can't put it in one term so it's a very personal album which contains various kind of styles in the way of um, epics, bombast epics, mm -hmm. and uh, in a way of uh, something sound more modern, progressive. Right. Maybe a bit in a way of sound garden stuff. Okay. Uh, others sound more in a traditional way, then there's some ballad stuff on it. So it's got a big variety and any, anybody who likes Michael's voice will really be pleased to hear it. I think it's a very good album. Yeah, I was just talking to um, to Michael Weikart uh, some weeks ago, and it seems like uh, he and uh, and um, Michael Kiske are not very good friends. But uh, you're still uh, a pal with uh, with Michael Kiske. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, I've got no reason to be. Um, after he split from Halloween, or even before that, he called me and said he was sick of all the bullshit that's been going on in the press. You know, there was been fights between Halloween and Gamma Ray always like you know and uh so he was kind of uh, sick of that and he called me and said well man I'm, I'm so sorry it's not my fault and uh let's just get away from that bullshit you know and i said fine good with me and when he came out of halloween uh, he we got together again and we talked about the past and about everything that happened in the band and uh, a lot of things and we have we still have good understanding i mean we found out Mm. So, um, that's it. Okay. Uh, you said you just uh, written another track for uh, the next uh, Gamma Ray album. Uh, what uh, do you think the next album would sound like? Would it be in the same tune as uh, Land of the Free? In some, in some re for some reasons, yes. But I think we, we're going to try to get even more, um, I don't know, not so complicated, you know? Mm -hmm. A little more simple in a way uh so we will have like big arrangements but we i i will try to make songs that are like recognizable memorizable and uh it's gonna be a bit i think it sh could be a little more aggressive maybe than the last one okay i'm not sure yet but uh <laughs> it the, the song i just finished is is uh is for sure it's more aggressive but it's still got good melodies that's what i always um, want to take care of 